Hi everyone, this is Kathy Gross, Kurtz with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple. And today, I hope that this will be a short video for you. We're going to be working with how to use the QuickBooks Online built-in calculator. And this is a feature that not very many people may know about. If you've used desktop in the past, it's more intuitive in desktop than it is in QuickBooks Online. So I want to show you how to use it and what types of situations would render it a good usage. So anyway, I am in the Kathy Bookkeeping test file. Now, before we actually get into it, please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share it with others. My goal is to help you maximize your usage of QuickBooks desktop and online platforms. And my content, even though it's geared towards accountant users, I welcome anybody who gets any kind of benefit out of my videos to be a part of my family. Now, with that said, say you have a receipt from a store that you went to and you bought some things that you have to break out the categories. So basically what I would do is I would enter that receipt manually and then try to match it up to the bank fees. And that's a whole nother video and we'll talk about that at some other point. But let's say we want to enter this expense because we know we need to separate out those expenses here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And you always want to add a payee. So let's say for this particular payee, we're going to go ahead and do miscellaneous retail vendors. As you know, in past videos, I talk about how I like to kind of group all the miscellaneous vendors in one category. You can run reports on those. So anyway, let's just assume that this was done on, and I'm going to actually use a receipt for this. I'm not going to show it to you, but I'm going to show you that the date on this receipt was the 25th, which was yesterday. And then the amount on this receipt is $130.93. So let's say we're going to start off with our main category, which would be I'm going to actually call this office supplies, office supplies and materials. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that description. And I'm going to go ahead and put the amount in here of the total of the receipts, which is $130.95. Okay. And then let's say we want to break out that receipt by category. And let's say out of this receipt, we spent 50 of it on personal stuff. So this is what we would do. Let's go ahead and, and do owner's pay. There we go. All right. So we know that out of this receipt, we spent $50 on... That, so I'm going to go ahead and put that $50 in there. So that way that'll be in there. So what we want to do, and of course now we see that our amount is more than what the receipt is. So what we can do here is we can go ahead and do the subtraction of the $50 from this. So we can do, and, and you, we can actually append it to the end here. We can go over here and do the minus sign. And then do 50 and then you can just press tab and then that should do the subtraction and that'll bring you back to the amount that the receipt is. So the amount is back to the 130.95 that that receipt is. And then you have the $50 and oh, actually I just realized something. Not a problem, just, just I didn't read the amount on the end right. So I'm gonna correct the amount on the end. So that's actually 80.93 because the receipt is actually for 130.93 instead of 130.95. And if you wanted to tag that to a product or service item, you would use the item details instead, but in, in this case, we're just using the category details. And then you can put in the description what this was for. You can just say sundry office items for office or something, or sundry items for office. And then in this area right here, we can maybe put down personal items purchased on company card. And ideally, if you were 
set up as a certain type of entity, you want to limit your personal expenses, but sole proprietors will often use their personal, uh, their business card to buy things personally, or they'll use a personal card for business, and then they also subtract things out that they buy personally. So anyway, with that said, we can go ahead and save and close this. And it's really that simple. So maybe we can do one more. And again, you're gonna go to the plus new button at that expense. And let's see if I can do this with one that's already in the bank feed, perhaps that hasn't been matched yet. All right, here's another one for Costco. Make it easier. And again, like I said, I like to use the retail vendor blanket category. And look at this. The way that I have my expenses set up in here re remembers what I did last time. So let's say, well, and it's going to make it easier. Of course, you want to make sure it's coming out of the right account. And I forgot to mention that the first time. So this receipt was for 10227. All right. And then the personal items on here, let's say that those totaled up to 25. Okay. All right. So in this case, we're going to take this 10227 and we're going to back out the 25 and then you can press tab and then that will change the amount. So that way you see that it's totaling 10227. We're going to save and close that. All right. Now if we go to the bank center, which is the bank transactions area, if we did this right, we should see a match for the receipt. It's assuming we're in the right account, though. And this was, I gotta see what the date on this receipt was. 222? Oh, okay, I see. I'm. I'm looking at the wrong stuff, so let me go back. Okay, here we go. What I did is I clicked on the date column and I went back to the oldest transactions. So here we go. I clicked back on the date column, have the newest transactions here. So you can see where we have the match here. So I'm going to go ahead and if you click on this, you'll see that that expense is in there. That's the one that we just entered in here. And I'm going to go ahead and match that in here. So that's how easy it is to do. So if you have receipts that you want to split, it's best to go ahead and do the plus new, then you can use the calculator to adjust the amounts the way that you need to adjust them and then go match them in the banking center. Anyway, I hope this will help you today. Y'all have a wonderful day now. Take care and we will see you very soon.